we've been working on the harder side of art for a while just by uh, you know doing the whole color theory thing and everything so I'm showing you Artie because Artie is about to be my model here come here get on so yes y'all about to draw Artie don't do not panic because you're not going to draw her uh, all serious you're, you're actually going to make a cartoon representation of her you know I figured we'd do something fun today you know the only thing you're gonna need for this project is a pencil pencil and whatever paper you have you got more food quit messing with me it's like you caught me up here I love you anyway though but I don't have any food so you have to go hungry your dog go hunting about to make art with you. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a dog, German Shepherd, long hair. We're going to give her a backpack and every, everything else. But we got to focus on her head. Now what I have here is a, a model that I've already done. You know I always tell y'all I like to draw like a representation of it so you're not freaking out. You just break it down into simple shapes. So the only thing this is a bunch of circles, ovals, uh, rounded triangles, uh, what not and I have them uh, labeled so there's about 17 of them to complete the picture of Artie and I will provide a copy of this in Google Classroom you know so if anybody need help you can just if you have a copier or whatever you can print it out or you can actually use your phones now that I think about it, you can uh, screenshot this from uh, download it from Google Classroom whatever to your phones uh, screenshot it whatever and uh, you can basically just trace over it um, in a, any drawing program that you have so you can do that or you can just traditional just use paper and just we're going to freestyle draw it now my advanced students truthfully you probably would need you don't need to do this but you know you can just follow along with me and uh, basically just draw it and then you can change it up you know matter of fact if you have your own dog I say use your dog as a model and then you know, change change up the on uh, the drawing. Just use the same pose. The dog is going to be sitting down in a three quarter pose. Excuse me, I'm going to blow my nose here. Algies out here are horrible. I got to be careful because you know they be tripping about that. Uh, be sneezing right here. They want to lock your butt up. All right, so all right, so I'm going to start with the nose. Now I'm going to sketch around everything like real dark, so you can kind of see what I'm doing but I want to give Artie here like a really big round nose so we're just gonna straighten all this up oh crap I'm using the wrong one that's the one I want to use for y'all we're gonna use this one okay it's more fun that way like I say even professionals make mistakes It's still gonna come out looking good. So we're just gonna use a rounded, a really round triangle. And again, because this is a cartoon, this thing does not have to be perfect. It's a cartoon. It's supposed to be funny. Matter of fact, I was working on the sketch for Artie because I decided I am going to create a character based on her for this online comic book that I'm comic strip that I'm working on had a comic strip a long time ago when I was a teen that I had in a local newspaper called nine lives and I think I am going to resurrect that comic but just in an online format and uh, I decided you know usually it's a cat and a dog they're you know kind of funny and they're fighting against each other and uh, all this stuff so you get to see the drama that unfolds with them but I think I'm going to add this dog here to it and she's going to be an instigator because it kind of fits her personality in real life because she is greedy I love Artie to death but Artie is a greedy dog so it'll add for some drama to the comic strip okay so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm working on her muzzle this line right here I'm going to uh, bring it around as a curve I 
because I'm about to give her like a really big kind of grin or conniving kind of grin because she really does do that I mean if you're not careful she'll smile in your face and she'll steal your food so let me see so we got that little line right here so I am going to just give her a cheek let me see I think I need to start from right here we're gonna come down to here and again I'm having to, I'm gonna draw this dark so you can see where I'm going with this she has a bottom fang that tends to show so I'm gonna round off a little triangle right there smaller triangle there smaller triangle right there this is going to be her tongue so if this is the roof of her mouth I'm going to get it a little bit more of a curve you want the bottom to be kind of wide now again I'm just tracing over these little basic shapes that I have so you can erase your your lines and stuff when you get when you're done with the drawing so you just have just the drawing put a little tongue line right there let me see we got her teeth we got this all this is gonna be all her tongue and then I am just gonna shade the little back section of her mouth so we just do it like that all right now if you want to you could put a little fang right here you know but generally I never see her upper fangs she usually hides those I just see her bottom one but if you want to you can put one there now let me see I'm gonna come back up here I want this to be a little more round I want that to be a little more round and then I am going to give her a jawline it's going to come down to say about right there so that's her jawline and if I was going to color this, you know, German Shepherds are two t usually are two-tone colored. Now, if we have this, you have this much, you're pretty much, you're good. The thing that's going to set the drawing off is going to be the eyes. So if we get our eyes right, then the drawing is just going to pop. So I am going to start off, say, about right here, which I'm going to perceive that's the middle. And... I am going to give her kind of like a oval shape for the eyes. So we got an oval right here. And I am going to make another one that's about the same height right here. Now, the thing is, what I want to do is get, get her the right expression. Now, well, Wait a minute, let me darken this. So we know this is a female. I'm going to darken the sides. I'm going to give her like, you know, kind of like, a, what you call this, a mascara. So I'm going to darken that edge right there. And then, matter of fact, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm going to give it a little eyelashes. And I'm going to do, I'm going to darken the side over here. Just the side. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So we got eyelashes there. And... I'm going to angle a line sort of like right there. So that's a slight diagonal and right there. And the reason I'm doing that is because, again, she's kind of sneaky, so I am going to, I want her to look sneaky. Now I'm going to draw a pupil. Let me darken this on here so you can see it. And you give whatever expression you want. I mean, it's your dog. I've just, she's just inspired me. Put a little oval right there, a little circle for a light source. That, and then I am going to darken that. So, that's her pupil. And then I am going to draw around. There you go, got our eye. Got our eye right there. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side over here. And it's going to be a little bit off-center because she's kind of looking towards the side. So her pupils are not in the middle of the eyes. She's cutting her eyes over. Her head is turned slightly, so she's going to be, eyes are going to be, have a slight uh, turn to it. I'm going to do the same thing right there. So we got our eyes. 
Now I'm going to come up here. I'm going to give her an eyebrow. Again, I want her to look kind of nonchalant. She wants to look, you know, cute and innocent. And just it's just two little curved lines up here above her eyelashes. Okay, I'm going to give her hair. Okay. And you can do this how uh however, it's just whatever you feel best. You know, I even thought about putting a bow tie up here, but I was like that's for me that I think that would be overkill. Now what I am going to do, let me see right here. She has really big ears, so I am going to jag it, make those jagged because her ears are furry. Here's a furry, and then I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to make a line coming down. And I'm going to make that kind of jagged. Put some little, little marks up there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start probably from about like right here. And I'm going to make this kind of jagged. And all those words, just triangles. And I'm going to start over right here, and then I'm going to jagged, 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 jagged. Just make jagged little lines, just little hatch marks. Like I say, this don't have to be perfect. It's a cartoon. So there is no perfect way to draw this character. I want y'all to try to have fun with it and change it up truthfully. It's my character. It's my character in my story. Make up your own story. Okay, so her ears are really furry and I'm gonna put some hair on the inside of her ears too. Now okay so we have her ears, we have our hair at the top. And again, make sure that you're erasing these lines and stuff like that. Um you know if you don't need them. Okay, I'm gonna start about right here. I'm gonna just kind of draw her head. And then I'm gonna stop and then I am going to we're going to make her furry. So I'm going to follow this line. Come all the way around. Okay. And there's no right way to do it. Because she's a girl, I was trying to make it look more like, you know, just hair, you know. And I'm, yes, I'm coming all the way around. So you just want the more hair, the better. Okay, kind of like a lion's mane, and you can, if you want to, you can add little marks and stuff like that, you know, just to show that she has hair right there. Now, I would say probably about, right about up here, I am going to give her, okay, we have her head, you have this much right now, you really, you're good, you know. She has a bandana. So I am going to somewhere around here, I'm gonna determine let me see her neck. So we're gonna put a little circle right there and I'm gonna put a line through it. And then I am just going to do that. And again, this does not have to be perfect. Like that. And I'm gonna put a loop right there. And I'm gonna come here and put a loop right there. So, okay. So that's gonna be the the little tie for the, the bandana. I'm going to slide this up. Her bandana, honestly, is just a triangle that's going to... Let me see. If I draw this, I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to come up and around and then come to there. Now, I want this to look more like cloth, so I am going to put a bend there. A little fold. I'll do that. This doesn't have to be perfect. Put a little bend right there. And then just come up. And if I want, if you want to, I am going to put little heart shapes. Some parts of the bandana, you know, because it's folded over, you're not going to draw the whole thing. But you can put like little, little half shapes or hearts. Okay, so she, so right now, 
we have a German Shepherd, and you have your bandana. Now, right here, she has a lot of uh, like little chest hair, so I'm just gonna follow this little line, and I'm just gonna do like that, make that uh, jagged. Now, truthfully, from here to here, we could connect these lines by doing this. Okay? But she has a backpack. Looks like a military backpack. It's her bug out bag. So, I'm going to draw a little line right here. So do like that. And then I am going to just draw a little curve going down to about right there. Now, her backpack has two bags, two little side bags on it. So I am going to put a bag right there. And then you're just going to do that and put a hole right there. And then she has another one. It sits right there, but her leg's going to be in the way. So let's do that. Put a little, little button on it. So she has a little uh, bag. Now I am going to draw a little line right here right here and then matter of fact we're gonna do that alright so that parts her bag and I'm gonna put a little loop right here because she that's where I put her leash and you can write something on, on here if you want to you can put a little medical cross or a service dog or a police dog or you know whatever now her shoulder this part of the shoulder right here you wouldn't be able to see because of her hair and the bandana. So I'm only going to start by right here. So I am going to trace along this line and then when I get right here to where her elbow is, I'm just going to furry, furry, furry. Just make little hash marks right there and then I'm just going to come down. I'm going to come on the other side. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do that. I'm going to make her, I guess, you know, her form. And then I have her paw. Her paw really is going to have this shape. See how I'm doing that? It's kind of almost like a triangle. Now, once you have that, that shape right there, all I'm going to do is just draw a little line here. Draw a line there. So you have her, her paw. That's all I did. Just make a little curved line. So those are her, her toes. And you just round round them off there, there. Here I can do the same, exact same thing. I can. Her hind leg is already there, so I'm gonna make that j little jagged because it, it is so jagged. So that's the line right there. I'm gonna do the same thing here with this uh, toe. It uh, her feet and should have that angle. Again, that little triangle, and then I am going to do that. Do that. And do that. This line right here, I'm just going to come up and do like that. You got to get this side over here. I almost forgot. So, we're just going to draw a line there and draw a line there. Again, we're going to make that little triangle shape. And we're going to round off, start rounding off those edges, and we're going to put some little lines there. We got one. That's the second line. That's the, that's the third line. So we got three lines. I almost forgot. Her backpack up here, it has a belt buckle. So I am going to draw a line right there, right there, and I'm going to put a little triangle, I mean a little rectangle there. Put a little clip. And I'm going to shade that in dark so you can see it. So, so that's a belt buckle. And there's another one right there. So we got belt buckle, belt buckle. 
her hair would cover up the rest of it so you wouldn't be able to see that and now her tail okay I have like a little crescent moon looking shape she has a really big bushy tail so all you do is just go around and just trace around it and I'm uh do like that from a distance okay and there we go we have our picture our cartoon picture of Artie Draw some lines right there. So that doesn't look too bad. You know, the biggest thing is you have the head. Now your drawing may not look exactly like this, and that's, you know, that's okay. What I want you to do is have fun. It's a cartoon drawing. It is not realistic. You know, uh, it's not like I'm asking you to sit here and draw her for real. You know, now my advanced kids, yeah, I probably would, but that video will take a minute. <laughs> so I am asking y'all to kind of play around, have fun, and just make up a cartoon drawing. Better yet, the goofier the drawing looks, the better. Look at the cartoons like on uh, that used to show up on like Nickelodeon and all that kind of stuff. Look at Spon think about how SpongeBob look. Those are very simplistic, uh, abstracted figures you know and that's what makes it so interesting visually interesting is because it's so abstract it, it, it's drawn out so goofy it's funny and that's the whole point you're supposed to look at a cartoon and it's supposed to make you smile you know uh, the, if you're talking about the Japanese I mean of course they do uh, you know their anime style and stuff like that but some of their like their chibi their chibi um, designs the little small the big the small figured characters with the big heads and the big eyes and stuff like that, they're real cute and or funny, you know, and that's the whole point. It's a cartoon. You're not supposed to be that serious. So don't be serious with this. Now, just take your time and just trace along the, um, the drawing, uh, the diagram, follow my video, just slow it down and just follow my video and just try to trace around the, um, this drawing and you can change it up it does not have to be a girl a girl dog it does not have to be a German Shepherd change it up it could be a Dalmatian for all I care or if you have a, a particular dog in the house you know which y'all try to draw that dog try to draw your dog you know you might have a poodle draw it just try to make a cartoon representation of it just make sure it's in this pose and like I said you can uh, download this those of y'all that have access to my Google Classroom, you can download this or you can, like I said, with your phones, you can screenshot this. That's why I'm trying to hold a still picture of this, just in case for people that's not even in my art class, if you're trying to do this, you can screenshot that. And then just turn around and try to trace along it if you want to, you know. Because, again, I know I got a lot of people that's not even in my class that's looking at these videos. So I'm just like, okay, if, you know, if this is what you enjoy doing while you're, we're all stuck inside the house because of the virus uh, I'm glad I can help and be of assistance and again if anybody has any questions you know you know you can just leave leave a comment and I'll try uh, to get back with you it doesn't matter if you're in my class or not you know we're all stuck in the same situation with regards to this virus and we're all evidently are artists because you wouldn't be looking at this video trying to learn how to draw if he was not an artist you know so I'm willing to help you out so just you know just let me know like uh, if you have any questions or anything like that or you want to learn some more techniques you know just leave a comment and I'll try to get back with you you know those of y'all that's in my art class you know you know how to contact me you know e either through email or uh, Google Classroom and I'll try to help you out but the biggest thing is don't take this that serious I mean I want you to do it so I can give you a grade but have fun with it you know stop worrying about it being perfect or it doesn't look like it doesn't look like Mr. Turner's it doesn't look like uh, it doesn't look quite like that it's not going to I want it to look like your drawing not my drawing your drawing we just want to be sure that this 
don't look like a stick figure. You know, I drew this out of my head. So just have fun with it, you know. Okay, so I hope that uh, helps, you know, and then we will come back with another video and we'll get back on some something a little bit more uh, complicated because we're probably going to get back on perspective. So I want y'all to, you know, take it easy, have fun, you know, and just enjoy what you are doing, you know. So y'all take it easy. Doggone. She knows she got to get up and go running. She's like, man, forget you. I'm chilling. Get up. She's sitting there looking at me. You like the drawing? She looking at me crazy. You like the drawing? Don't eat it though. No. Well, forget you then. <laughs> okay, y'all take it easy. Bye.